All right, so we also, also have learned that a man found dead on the east side this morning is now considered a homicide. It happened around 8.30 on Kitley Avenue near English in South Arlington. Officers found the victim with multiple gunshot wounds. Medics pronounced him dead at the scene. Police have not released the man's name or any suspect information at this point. Anthony Bumgard, the man that murdered a Boone County Sheriff's deputy, has been sentenced to life in prison with no parole. Bumgard shot and killed Deputy Jacob Pickett in March of 2018. News 8's Richard Essex has the story now from Lebanon. Anthony Baumgartner pled guilty to three counts today murder, possession of methamphetamines, and resisting law enforcement. The Boone County Prosecutor's Office had been seeking the death penalty, but after a plea deal that was agreed to by the family, Baumgartner will spend the rest of his life in Michigan City. Minutes after Anthony Baumgart accepted the plea agreement, he was ushered out of the Boone County Courthouse. He was surrounded by armed deputies wearing a bulletproof vest. Brent Westerfeld, Baumgart's lawyer, said drugs are at the root of his client's action. I think everybody knows that drugs are change a person's personality. They change the way they react. Um, they change their feelings. They change everything. On March 2nd of last year, while Baumgart was being chased by police, he fired three shots at Deputy Pickett, one of which was fatal. He is sorry for what's occurred, and he realizes the harm and the, the, uh, the loss that resulted from his actions, and he took responsibility for that today. During the sentencing hearing this morning, Deputy Jacob Pickup's widow was offered the opportunity to face Baumgart face to face. In her two page statement, she told the court about her sons. They now believe the world is full of evil, murderers like you. Baumgart showed no emotion as she concluded with We will live the way Jacob taught us. You cannot steal his legacy. Baumgart paused briefly on his way to prison to acknowledge a handful of his friends that had gathered outside of the courthouse. But otherwise, he had nothing to say for himself. In Lebanon, Richard Essex, Wish TV, News 8.